guys, this is Morris Obed. What is going on? A uh, long awaited video. I've been waiting to do this video. Um, and so, in that regard, if you guys haven't done so, uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Uh, click on that bell notification so you get notified when I post a video like this. Uh, it just makes things much easier so you guys don't have to be scrolling through my. Uh, uh, scrolling through YouTube just to find uh, my recent video. So to make it easier, turn on that bell notification and click on all notifications. So when I post a video, you just get notified just like that. This video, man, uh, this is just going to be a head scratcher for me. We're going to talk about the whole uh, Ime Udoka debacle and the alleged mistress that was revealed according to the Daily Mail. I'm going to tell you guys who this woman is uh, for those who don't know. And so, uh, Ime Hidoka, for those who don't know who that is, uh, he is engaged to Neil Long. Uh, they've been together for like 10 years in terms of the engagement and whatnot. Now, for me, I don't I don't know why they've been engaged for this long and haven't been married, you know. But that's not my business and not for me to decide. Uh, so you, you guys can just make that decision on why they're not married and why he's been engaged for this long. Uh, but to get into it, you know, for those who don't know who Ime is, he is the head coach of the uh, Boston Celtics, who took the Celtics to the finals last year. And at this point last year, uh, the Celtics weren't really so great in terms of the start uh, up until January. Then, then that's where things started to take off, and people started making predictions in terms of the Celtics making the finals, uh, which I thought at that point was beyond what the Celtics were going to do. But the Celtics ended up going to the finals, and they played the Warriors. But we ended up losing, which is just fine. Uh, the Warriors have been to the finals six, seven times, so uh, they just have more experience, and their guys just been uh, through it all. So, um, you know, it, it was a overall, you know, great season for the Celtics. Uh, the head coach got a lot of praise, and... Uh, really impressive for his first year as a head coach for the Celtics. So uh, that was uh, one of the takeaways uh, for Ime Yudoka from last season. Uh, but what ended up happening over the summer, there was um, alleged rumor going around that uh, Ime had been in a consensual relationship with someone within the organization. Uh, now, this was kept in-house at the time. So this was like July where this was uh, reported. Uh, going on uh, within the organization, and so uh, it was it was just kept as a consensual relationship. Now, um, a couple weeks ago, this got leaked out, uh, which I supposedly think this wasn't supposed to be leaked out. The report was an alleged consensual relationship with someone within the organization, and that Ime Doka was going to receive some suspension for quite some time. We didn't know how long, but it was going to be really substantial, according to the report by Adrian Wojnarowski from ESPN. That's where um, he got the report from. Um, and so uh, it was a head scratcher for me and a lot of people in the media. because We were f trying to figure out who this alleged mistress was, why he was receiving the suspension and not the woman, because uh, they said that he broke the rules. Um, and this is according to the Celtics. This is, I mean, excuse me, this isn't something the Celtics said. I mean, the NBA said this is something that the Celtics said. Uh, so he broke uh, the rules um, that the organization said. Um, and so in that regard, uh, we thought that the woman wasn't going to receive any type of repercussion in terms of uh, their consensual relationship that was allegedly reported. And so we kind of waited to see what was going to happen. Uh, the soldiers kind of let the story brew on for like 24 to, let's say, 72 hours. Uh, women were being thrown in on Twitter on who this alleged mistress was. Uh, um, and, you know, a lot of people weren't happy about that, uh, especially uh, Malika Andrews of ESPN. She wasn't so happy about of the woman being dragged and, and multiple other people, uh, which is totally fine. But, you know, if the Celtics really wanted to protect that woman, they would actually shoot all these alleged claims down and, and just say who the mistress was, and then all of this would sort of go away. Uh, 
And so uh, this really ticked a lot of people off. And so when the day of the press conference comes, uh, like two days later, uh, the Celtics uh, didn't really give out any new information. Like the information that we already had that the Celtics were given was technically regurgitated information. Like it's, it was very vague at best. They didn't want to give any additional information. They didn't want to say who the woman was. Um, but what really took us is what they out, uh, they invited outside legal counsel, which made it even more serious. Um, and so that's when all that kind of took us back and think like, what could Ime Idoka have done to um, had them bring outside legal counsel? Because this was just uh, really abnormal. Like usually in this situation, if there was a consensual relationship, usually you would just have to report to HR, you know, uh, and this is very common in corporate America, you know, when these alleged situations uh, unfold. And so, you know, there was just stuff that was drip, drip, uh, dripping um, in the media. Um, and later came out that uh, Ime Doka had made some lewd comments. That we still don't know what those comments were. Uh, and, and we're still waiting to figure it out. Uh, you know, a lot of this information is, you know, still like unknown. And so I'm going to show you guys who this woman was. This woman is allegedly named as Kathleen Namino Lynch, according to the Daily Mail. Um, now, I'm going to just show you who this woman is. Um, you guys can kind of see it. Uh, that is the alleged woman who was uh, sleeping with Ime Udoka. Sorry, guys. Uh, I know it's just like getting at me right now. Uh, uh, and, and also, Ime issued an apology as well, apologizing to the organization in terms of what was happening. And, um, and he was very saddened about the whole situation. Um, you know, and I kind of feel for him. Um, you know, he's not married, so, you know, I don't really consider it as. Well, it's still cheating. It's still wrong, but um, but he's not married. I forgot the word for it, but uh, when when it comes back to me, I'll tell you guys what it is. Um, so what was I going to say? So, you know, in that regard, for men out here who are, you know, in corporate America doing this, who are not in the position of power, just be very careful. If you're in the position of power, I suggest you not to do this um, because the optics are just way too dangerous um and so you know i i kind of urge everyone to you know this is this is sort of a lesson to take out of this um for a lot of men who are out here doing this especially in the workplace just you know i just suggest you not to do this this is the number one thing that get that derails men's career me doka had no self-control it's not really considered infidelity because he wasn't married he's in she, he's engaged to the along and honestly, personally for me, I went cheat on Nia Long. There was no reason for him to do that. Like, absolutely no reason. Like, he must have been really horny on these uh, road trips to have to sleep with this woman. I mean, it, it just can't be that serious for him to go out and just do that out of the blue. The Celtics and how they handled this uh, particular incident, I'm really disappointed. I didn't really think they needed to air his dirty laundry out. Uh, this should have been kept in the house where they could have dealt with the situation at hand and not have to deal with the other woman uh, being put out on the internet like that. Of course, that was inappropriate, but you know that's the Celtics' fault for not handling their business and not taking care of the situation in the house. And so, in that regard. You know, I thought the woman also should have been held accountable because she also broke the rules, which that the Celtics had set. So, you know, uh, a lot of hypocrisy in this uh, situation um, in terms of how this is unfolding. This investigation is still ongoing at this time. So more information will eventually come out. Uh, and so uh, I'll keep you guys in the loop in terms of what happens going forward. Uh, but. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe to the channel, like I said. Hit that bell notification on the way out if you haven't done so. 
And uh, follow us on social media at Morris Obed. You can follow us on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Or you can follow me on my main page at O-B-E-D-D-E-L-V-O-I-X. On all socials. Other than that, guys, long awaited video. Um, more information is to come with this. So this is just, you know, part one of this whole debacle or conundrum, whatever you want to call it. So on the other hand, appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.